presentation, I would like to give you a short functional summary about the functional features of TissueQuest, a software from Tissue Gnostics for sections and cells stained with fluorescent dyes. To do so, I would like to select the demo sample uh, which I have prepared for us. It's a prostate stained with three dyes. The channel 1 is for the staining of basal cells. You can hit zoom in and zoom out. You see you can choose between the different channels. This is the secretory epithelial stain and this is the third which is the DAPI stain. Based on this DAPI we have used the mode where the cells are identified by the DAPI, a nuclear stain, and you have to press this button and there's an automated algorithm which can be tuned in this box to automatically now recognize all nuclei. All nuclei are then shown in form of scatter plots. Let's see now to the mask. When you look here, you can see that each nuclear is now surrounded by a green line. Those nuclear which are surrounded have been detected and have become an object. If you look at this mask, this is the mask which is, can be used to see where the software detects an object and where the intensity or size is measured based on such areas. Each object here become now an object here in these categograms based on the functional features. So for example this is a big cell, so it goes up here, a very big, this is the parameter on the y-axis DNA area. Right? So these are the big cells. Small cells should be there down. As you can see here, this interactive blinking says you that this object is a small object. Each object so let's go here to the original, is giving us a set of data which comes either with the size or some morphologic features like compactness and eccentricity, but also intensity features like the maximum, the mean, the sum of intensity. Let's go again back to the presentation as a scattergram when we look here, now all cells are identified, all nuclei are identified, and this means here you have here now the summary of all nuclear data. So you can see here, these are the small cells, these are the big cells, here are the cells which have no, a very weak intensity, DNA mean intensity is here, and these are the cells with a very high intensity. There is a feature, for example, like here, you can make a gate, you can, with the right mouse click, you say view backward data so that you can see this gate, which cells are in this gate, and they will be presented to you if you would like to have them in your dot, in your analysis. You can say, okay, I choose this functional feature, and I would say it's okay here, because these are really nuclear, of small, smaller nuclei. Uh, but at the same time, also, the cells will be always represented here in form of a uh, discolored um, um, pink color within this dot plot. So you can see here, for example, how these pink cells react, for example, with the, with, uh, the marker uh, for basal cells, right? Here's DNA mean intensity versus basal cells. You see here the pink cells, and for each each such gate you can make easily by pressing here this button making a gate you get another color. Yeah? On the end you get not only another color, you get also a new data set. So if you press here and you want to make a gate, you get another data set. What is the data set? The data set shows you how many cells are in this gate, here is the number of cells and it would give you the mean intensity based on this marker, for example, here in this case is the DNA mean intensity, which is given in the gate 6, right? So, let's go to the data. So, each object 
is now identified based on the Darby stain and depicted in the first scattergram based on its area and the mean intensity. In the second diagram and the uh, third diagram, we see the reactivity of DNA mean always on the x-axis and on the y-axis, the basal cell marker, and in this case, the epithelial marker. We, when we look here to this scattergram, we see a population there down. This is a population which is cytokeratin weakly positive, and this is a population which react, seems to react much stronger with the marker. So you have here the mean intensity of the cells. You can make here a, a, a cutoff, and you can again make a gate to have a look which cells are now within that gate. So when we go for cytokeratin 18 positive cells, we should have all epithelial cells. So you can see here now it depicts, it takes from, it does not take or surrounds now the, the interstitial cells. It only goes for epithelial cells. You can compare that with now with the cytokeratin stain. If you look here, you see that it depicts now simply these epithelial areas, but not the interstitial areas. When you look to this mask, you can see that the uh, reactivity, yeah, these masks here, which are shown again where it's measured and where not, so it does not measure in the nucleus, but it measures the cytoplasm, which is correct in the cytokeratin stain. You can see, simply choose that from this, uh, so for example, you can make include nucleus, or if you check them, then you exclude nucleus. Huh? And we, for, for example, this gives you the ability for each marker to set if it is in a ring mask or an identified cell mask. The reason why it is here showing you the whole cytoplasm is that we use an algorithm which is called identified cell mask, and it's done, it grows in stained area, so it, it occupies the area around the nucleus which is stained if there is a staining. If there is no staining, it makes a thin ring and you can define how big this ring is and then it will give you the mean intensity of this so-called negative ring and will give you the mean intensity of the strongly positive area. And this is the reason why you see here now such a uh, dot plot conformation that here is a negative population and a highly positive population. We have now a, lo a, a very big number of uh, gates, which is a little bit confusing, so you can manage these gates, simply delete them, and then you again have a clean subset without interference. When you look here now, this is the double reactivity. You can see easily that there's a population, and that there's a population, and this is now uh, the question if, when we, when we make a new gate, yeah, if this is now really the basal cell population. We will make here a gate, view backward data. So this is, let's look here, this is all epithelial cells, is on the y-axis, on the, on the, and the x-axis is the basal cell marker. So these are the negative, they are negative for both markers. These are positive, all epithelial cells, and this should be the cells which react with this marker, 812, as a, with epithelial cells, but with basal cell uh, cytokeratin. So when you go here and we, we view backward data, we can see now how two strongly positive populations are separated. If we look here now again to the cytokeratin marker, we see that we get here only a basal layer. It's not detecting the secretory cells. And if we have a look now to the overlay of the, of the stain with the basal cell marker, you can see here that it depicts really the basal cells. So when you make now an analysis from such a stain, you can see how, how many basal cells are within this prostate sample and how strongly they are positive. Right? If there's also one ability which I haven't shown you, is if you are, if you don't like the data, right? For example, here, and we we see this this sample where these two cells are. Uh, co-recognized as one cell, we can use here the manual correction tool, which is the delete event, split event, merge and create event. Let's, let's split these two events, yeah, so we can press and simply here a button, take the mouse, make here a line and say apply. 
and then you would have two events for this. So you can manually correct all the all, uh, all uh, nuclei detection, and uh, finally, uh, the, all the the things which we have done. Remember here, you get a a final printout which reports all your interactions with the image and your data. And if you remember the last gate we set on the co-expression, so this is exactly the profile how we have it now on the screen, and this is also what the report shows. I thank you for your attention, uh, and I hope I, uh, you, you enjoyed uh, the presentation. <laughs>